In today's video, me and Shay are going to be opening up quite a few ammonite nodules. As we go through the video, the ammonites inside the nodules should hopefully keep getting better and better. Although not every nodule is going to contain a fossil. Let's get straight into it and open up the first rock. Shay is going to be opening the majority of the Jurassic rocks in this video. Quite often, we usually only keep the videos whereby the rocks open and reveal a stunning fossil. However, it's quite exciting to still keep the videos where we open a rock and it's completely empty. In reality, the majority of rocks are completely empty. Let's open up this one and see if there's anything inside. There we go, it's split straight away after just a couple of hits with the hammer. Unfortunately, looks to be completely empty so far. It's probably worth removing a little bit more limestone to see if there's a fossil just beneath the surface. However, on this occasion, there is no fossil whatsoever within this rock. Let's open up the next one. Do you reckon this will contain one? Uh, I'm not too sure. Usually when they get a bit bigger, they're, they're less likely to have something in, but we'll give it a crack. Not yet. Whoop. Whoop. Ooh, what's that? Nice fossil poo, copper light. That wasn't what we were expecting to be inside the nodule, however it's nice to have something different inside. Let's look at the next one. Get a bit closer. A harposterous ammonite. Some of it's worn away but I'm presuming there'll be a nice middle in it. I'm gonna try and split it open on camera for you. Got my safety goggles. I'm pretty sure it'll split quite easily, but we'll see. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything worth taking from within this nodule. However, it was worth opening just in case. Shay's also come across a very similar nodule nearby with a more promising specimen of the same species. You can already see it just there. Shay will explain a bit more about it. It's a big pyrotized nodule with a, there's a cross section of a harposterous ammonite inside. It looks like it's pretty worn away, so I'm not expecting anything great out of it. We can reveal what's, what's left of the ammonite. I'm pretty sure the scent is gone, but the outer world might look pretty nice. I have to hold the camera in one hand. Oh no, there's the centre. There's the centre of the ammonite there. It's in a big lump. Nice, I wasn't expecting that. Unbelievably, nearby, he's found a very similar ammonite fossil. Just picked up another harposterus there. See where the outer world is. From this side, it doesn't look like the centre's there because it's shale preserved. But when I looked at the cross section, it looks like the ammonite will be there on the other side. So rather than trying to break it here, we'll try and take, we'll take it home and prepare it with the tools. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. There's still the best ammonite openings yet to come. Me and Shay have been scouring the beaches looking for plenty of lovely fossils to crack open. Here's a look at the next nodule, which we're going to be opening up.
This is another nodule with a tough iron pyrite outer shell. They are particularly difficult to open up and quite often little bits of pyrite can fly out so it's always important to wear safety glasses. Look at that! It's filled with partial and complete pyritic elegantiserous ammonites. This was very similar to the first couple of nodules we opened in this video. The one that was empty and the one that had the copper light and then totally out of the blue that nodule contained exactly what we were looking for and more. With some preparation, several specimens, all complete, sat within that nodule. Absolutely amazing. We've got a similar nodule next to open up, a little bit smaller, however we can already see that there's definitely a fossil inside. Here's one of the nodules I found, which has an ammonite inside. Let's crack it open. Here goes, let's open it up. Oh, wow. It's a really nice one. That's so piratized. <laughs> oh, and there's some little ones next to it. Don't get much better than that. Definitely not goes back together perfectly. I think we're happy with that, aren't we? Very nice. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will. However, these have the best chance if you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them. And thanks in advance for supporting what we do. And there we have it. Lots of lovely ammonites opened up and some nodules that were just completely empty. Thanks for watching. If you do decide to get some ammonites to open up yourself at home, I really hope you enjoy opening them. I'll play some scenery clips now just to end off the video and I'll see you in the next one.